Ethics is often not about doing right or wrong or being a good or a bad person, but ethics is the little grey area between good and bad, right and wrong, where we all become decent but dubious people. So when financial advisors talk to their clients, they can't only hold their interests and the interests of their clients in mind, they have to do a balancing act between three things, the self, the good and the other and it's becoming increasingly important for ethics to be at the forefront of all client interactions because of societal pressures where we see societal decisions, even going green for instance, the environmental impact, having an impact on the investment decisions taken by clients. It's difficult to talk ethics when you start talking ethics. One of the things i found that works really well is to have that conversation with yourself first. Is to decide on what ethics is for you, what the values are for you, what the norms are, what you would like to operate as, what it looks like, what it feels like when you're there. And if you figured it out for yourself, then when you get into a situation where you're having a chat with a client and something comes up, say for instance something in the news and you have to make comment on it, then you can start adding a values conversation into that little chat that you are having. And by discussing values, you can open up the conversation towards the bigger thing of ethics, and not just changing behaviors, but changing the belief systems of people. Clients' eyes might open up a little bit, but because this ethics thing is one of the most awkward things anyone can discuss, never mind financial advisors that have especially walked a, few, a path of a few years with their clients, it can open up a new conversation or it can have the client shut down a little bit. And that's where there's maybe a trigger point for asking, well, where do our values align? Where don't they align? Mm. And where gut and conscience start coming out and where you have to, as an advisor, start reviewing do I really want this client? Are we really aligned in terms of what we want, where we are moving towards, or should this relationship end? But in terms of the conversation, opening up wider, it can't, it can, it depends on the two people together and how open they are and how much trust there is in that relationship. Opening up an ethics conversation is risky. If it's a new client or a new person you're talking to, it can be seen as you coming across very arrogant, very high and mighty, very up on your pedestal that you can't be knocked down off. I would advise to rather open up an ethics, values-based, behavior-based conversation once there is a little bit of rapport, once there is trust between you and the person that you are talking to, whether it's a colleague or a peer or a client. Some of the biggest ethics debates that need to happen at the moment is what is ethics? It's become such a buzzword that people are throwing it around as the be all and end all solution to all of the world's problems. But when you start asking a few questions, what is ethics? What is ethics to me? What is it to you? What does it look like? How do we build it? Uh, what is an ethical culture? And how do we go about operating in an ethical culture? That's where most conversations start getting a little bit fluffy. So I think the biggest conversation is not should or should we have an ethical culture or who is ethical, who is practicing ethical behaviors, but rather what is ethics for me, for you, for our industry, and how do we go about not just changing the behavior, but changing the underlying value system.